a little more than 600 million miles from the moon. No, I, I know. But after this, it's probably 50 million miles from another watering hole or anything else, really. Uh-huh. We need a charge, Cody, and I wanted to stretch. Maybe get a drink. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye on the package. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Called a Lynchburg lemonade. I know you guys serve them. We're sorry, we can't understand your command. A Lynchburg lemonade, or anything? How, how about a water? Promise I won't ask for ice. Hello, traveler. Welcome to the Misto Tavern. Would you like a? Uh, forget it. Just forget it. Cancel. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going. Trying to get a drink, but this Bendix unit's not really cooperating. So, you know, fair warning. Surprised it still has juice to even run, to be honest. You want a drink? Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe I can help. Maybe you can help. Well, Brigadier, you're welcome to try. Hello, traveler. Welcome to the Misto Tavern. Would you like a drink? Good luck. Yes. You have answered yes. How many drinks would you like? Hey, you're already further than I ever got. Yeah, you can't be too fancy with these things. One. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. This thing on? Hey, pretty fresh. The sell buy is only six years ago. Uh, get you tanked, but I think it tastes like watermelon or something. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Expired on my birthday. That's good luck. But, uh, thanks. And, buddy, seriously, have a seat. You're making me twitch. Okay, I'm appreciative of you getting me this fruit seltzer thing. That doesn't mean I want to feel your breath on my neck. Hey, the seat just looked warm, okay? It's also wet, by the way. Something I didn't realize until just now. Relax, I'm just messing with you. I'm waiting on the seed caravan. The 32 to Palace for the monthly shipment. So, I don't know if you're aware, but that makes you my entertainment for the next 45 minutes. So, come here often? <laughs> no, I've, I've actually never been here before. 
I'm a courier, uh, long hauling to the moon. A ship needed a charge. Mm. Mm, ship needed a charge. Uh, what do you like most about being a courier? Not that you have to like anything about anything, but, you know. Oh, honestly, just seeing the solar system. I actually just checked off the great dark spot. Neptune's about as far as I can get on six charge tanks. <sighs> You're the first person I've met in a long time that still holds any interest in sightseeing the void. That's really it, though? Dodging asteroids and all that nothing? I just can't see the appeal. I don't know. Seeing how big, disconnected everything is helps keep me on an even keel. Keeps things in perspective. I mean, I know everyone says that. I don't say that. Space doesn't put things in perspective. All space does is constantly remind you that everything you think matters doesn't. <sighs> oh. So, this is happening. What's happening? W what is that? Screamers. Anyone in charge? Hello, Traveler. Welcome to Themisto Tavern. Would you... Any human in charge? No? Okay. I am looking for someone. His name is Edward Keller. Goes by Eddie. He looks like this. This is what he looks like. Look at it. You too. Have you seen him? Uh, sorry, no. My friend and I are headed to the satellites of Deimos. I haven't seen anyone with that, uh, complexion. Huh? What are you- Yeah, been pulling a lot of all-nighters getting there. You know, we can hardly see straight as it is. Haven't seen him, haven't heard the name, Eddie Keller? Nope, and now as I was just saying before you came in, I need to use the facilities, which I'm gonna go do now. Didn't you have to go too? Cause you better go now before we hit the road. Get your ship out front, you a courier? Uh, sometimes. Look, if you see him, if you see Eddie, here's a copy of his photo. My call sign's on the back. reward if you have any information. Any at all. Okay? Okay. Uh, sure. What about you? Seen this kid? No. Where'd that woman run off to? Only a little backwash. Oh, there you are, finally. All right, r uh, real quick catch up. I'm Sarah, nice to meet you. Uh, Beckett, but- And you're Beckett, yeah. Okay, so that guy, he's a screamer. And that kid he's trying to find, that's my son. Eddie. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get out of here before he realizes who I am and kills us, or worse, and you're gonna give me a ride to ASAF 3. It's the next stop over, won't take a minute. Yeah, um, man, okay, yeah, let's, let's go. Oh, great, thanks. Help me, help me out with this window. Thanks for this. Really, I... I couldn't tell if you were gonna help me or not. Uh, I don't have much to offer for, like, payment or whatever, but... We're gonna meet up with some people. I'm sure you'll be able to take something off them. Money, or food, it's the... The least I can do. Yeah, yeah, sounds, uh, sounds good. Uh, whatever you can spare. Yeah, a sure thing. My ship's just down the path here. I parked it in front. All right. Yeah, let's go.
Hey there, I'm Cody. What's your name? Shall I guess? I'll start with the A's. Why is this happening? It's Sarah, Cody. Greetings, Sarah. Uh, no. Can we just leave now? Hey, open up or be opened up. Take your pick and pronto. I am detecting a rapidly heating ion torch on my exterior. We should find a place to go. Bridge, now. Destination? Here, Texan, Michigan's. Never heard of it. Sounds like a boot emporium. It's not a place. They're friends. We should be safe with them. Ship approaching. Damn it. Can you go faster? This is a Cody. It's optimized for long hauls, not drag racing. Up. Up. Down. Down. Screamer ship upon us. My dimension teller's your son. I can't watch this. Blocking eyes. Stay still! No. You're doing great. Look, we can keep dancing if you want, but I'll make your shoes wear out before mine. He's right. A Cody isn't designed for, uh, you know, avoiding death swipes. Uh, okay. I have zero idea how to not die right now. I might. Redirecting. That's an asteroid field. I know. I got your ship's ID frequency. Don't think we're done, butterfly. He's diverting. It worked. Yeah, out of the frying pan and into the much larger and full of giant rocks that can kill us frying pan. Well, yes, there is that. Left, left. Too close. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. That one looked just like a potato and nearly ended our lives. Yeah, out of the frying pan and into the much larger and full of giant rocks that can kill us frying pan. Well, yes, there is that. Left, left. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. That one looked just like a potato and nearly ended our lives. Just a courier? Yeah. I know professional pilots who couldn't dream of flying through an asteroid field unscathed. I don't know how much you're gonna get paid, but you definitely just earned every penny of it. Truly, sailor. Truly. Uh, 
wasn't exactly willingly. More like would die if didn't. Hey, gift horse mouth looker, take the compliment. Destination approaching. So who are we visiting again? Arkansas and Ted? M Michigan and Tex. They're sisters. We go way back. They're also uh, bounty hunters. Good ones. Which means, you know, some might call them dangerous murderers. Depends on uh, uh, your definition of murder. Cool with me. Okay. And with me. Nobody asked you. I control your oxygen, just a reminder. Also, we have arrived. We should hurry, but but here's something you should know about Michigan and Tex. They're not gonna trust you. It's nothing personal. They're just not. Oh, come on. I'm trustworthy, right? Think of who they deal with every day. Criminals, other killers, nobody nice. Being slow to trust is a critical job skill for them. Just keep that in mind. Slow to trust doesn't mean impossible to trust. Just, yeah. Okay, you've been warned. Let's go. Are those... Actual human skeletons? Yeah. M and T hang on to the bodies of the real scumbags they take down. Like trophies, but don't feel bad for those bones. They belong to monsters. Pure dirt. Every one of them. That's pretty messed up. I mean, come on, surely that skull had a mom who loved it, right? You don't like it? Take it up with M and T? The rest of us just nod, smile, and change the subject. Okay, knock on the door before I'm convinced one of these things moved. And hurry. We really shouldn't be out in the open for too long. Is that Sarah? Yeah. That your driver? Yeah, that, that's Beckett. Look, so we need to get everyone on the phone pronto. And I mean, everyone, yes, even him. So, uh, hey. So, yeah, so just let's call everyone up and. Hey, what? When was the last time you peed? What? When was the last time you peed or changed your contacts or just, you know, breathed? I don't know. How about you go do all three? Not simultaneously, unless, you know, you wanna, and then we'll do the call and sort out the wash, okay? Okay, yeah. Bathroom's upstairs, second on the left. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, hi? That's a big coat you got on there. Big coat. You ever seen a coat that big? Never seen a coat that big. I mean, come on. I'm a big guy. Don't have too much say in the matter. It's just such a big coat, boss. Big coats can hide... What can they hide, Tex? All sorts of stuff, Michigan. Wallets, keys, knives, guns. So the question is, what's yours hiding? Hey, I hear tough talk. Behave down there, you two. Beckett's cool. He offered to give me a lift over here, so, you know, I owe him one. Yeah, fine. Okay. It's still a big coat. Hall of Fame? Some of our latest and greatest. That is a lot. That's just this year. Who's your friend? You play guitar? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Take it with you, poke at it for a while, see if you pick up a chord or two. Learn a new skill. Keeps your brain nice and electric, you know? Hey, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, I'm, I'm not done. My gift to you. More like yawn. We bust murderers twice weekly, at least. You can take that if you wanna. Already logged the info in our ship. Hey, so... Hey, so... 
So how do you two know Sarah? We all grew up together, all dropped out of school together. So I'm going to keep this short, tall guy. You're helping out our friend. We like that, but we don't know you. And we don't like that. Something's got to be done about that. Post haste. Well then, get to know me. Yes, let's. So, look, there's this uh, metric, I guess, that I used to gauge people. We're all garbage, right? Like, everybody alive, uh, ever, right? Of course, right. Oh, yeah, totally. Right? Dumpsters that blink. Every last one of us. So, yeah, we're all garbage. But sometimes garbage has, like, you know, hairs and crap like that. So it's not 100% completely garbage. So what would you say is your personal garbage percentage? Give me a number. God's honest. Come on. Oh, 100%. For sure. Hey, some honesty. How about that? Okay, so if you guys are going to continue doing business, normally I'd tell you to be careful around her in all matters personal and private, but if you're really 100% garbage, then I'm just going to sit back and watch the garbage fireworks. This won't be Sarah's first, second, or tenth train wreck. But if you can make it her least painful one, I'd be obliged. Better? Better. Want to get everyone on the horn? You bet. They need a group call button on this damn thing. Uh, who exactly are we calling? The most dangerous hunter killers in the universe. You know, our friends and colleagues. Where's Zeb? Not answering. Shocker. Oh well. Hey, guys. Who's the big guy? You. Big and tall. Identify. I'm helping out Sarah. That's <laughs> so. I'd hang on to your receipts. I've only allotted two and a half minutes to this call. I would suggest increasing speed. I appreciate the sacrifice. So, look. Edward is in trouble. Again. Correct, Phobos. Got it. Uh, got it in one there. Would you say he takes after his mother in that way? Nobody answer that. Eddie ripped off the screamers. Took their jump drive. You're yanking me! Ha! Kid's got stones. Never would have guessed. Given where he comes from and all. Jump drive? Never heard of it. It's how the screamers stay on top of their sector. Everyone else has to use basic propulsion engines, but the screamers zip around at light speed. Hard to chase after the guy who robbed you when he's flying away at 300 million miles per second. They put a bounty on the jump drive's return. Big one. So, I'm asking for a favor. If you guys run across him, please, just please take the drive from him and call it a day. The bounty is just as good if you only return the jump drive. It doesn't need an accompanying corpse. We all owe each other something. Consider me square on anything owed to me if you help me out on this one. Deal? Agreeable. Swell. Yeah, I'm out in deep space in a hut, so don't expect much from me, if anything. That doesn't surprise me. That surprise any of you? Hey, Goliath, when we want to hear something useless, we'll point. Fine, Wrench. Don't uh, actively help, but drop a line if you see him. I'll think about thinking about it. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks. Go away. Gladly. Unsolicited advice for you, sir. Jelly Green over there? He clearly ain't cut out for this kind of work. I drop him like rotten garbage. Toss him out. Drop me? How about I drop you? All right, checks, my friend. So, will you guys help out? Duh. Double duh. How about you, Becca? Still don't mind carting me around? Yeah, of course. I'm, you know, happy to help out. Did three ghosts visit you between the bar and here? Thought you were all about the payday, but what do you know? Probably too good to be true, but I'm going with it. So, did they behave enough, at least? Or, like, halfway to enough? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really? This soon and you're lying to me? Shame, shame, shame. So, we got two places we should probably go. There's Sinclair's Garage. It's a chop shop where Eddie used to take his bike to get work done. Or, we can check out his apartment. m and can check out wherever we don't go. What'd you think? They're both in the same direction, more or less. About the same distance, too. Let's see the chop shop. Then bid adieu, and after you. So how do you do? You like him. I like him. I like him. We like him. But most importantly, we didn't kill him. Yes. Yet. Plenty of time for that. More than plenty. Such generosity. The night is young, big coat. We're gonna head to Sinclair's. You guys swing by Eddie's place. Okay. 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 And keep us posted? Yep. 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 Come on, Becca. This feels good, Sarah. Like the old days. Yeah, we miss hunting with you. Those work. Then not having this conversation again, again, again. Come on, Becca. You used to be a bounty hunter? Not having this conversation with you either. We are leaving.
Okay, so we told your friends we'd check out, uh... Sinclair's garage, where Eddie worked. But, I don't know. I'm thinking now, maybe we should go to his fireside instead. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but maybe I'm just too fractious right now. Actually, yeah. Yeah, let's let's change it up. You'd be better equipped to check out his place than Tex or Michigan, right? Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. I'll message him. Tell him we're going to his home. That they should go to Sinclair's. Okay, next stop, Ed Keller's Roost. Do you have a kitchen, or just something to make coffee? We have both, which we can happily show you on the tour. I don't need a tour. Sure you do. How else will you know where anything is? Once I know where the coffee machine is... Come on, the ship's bigger than it looks. I really don't need to see where you store your own waste, Beckett. But it's so interesting. Yeah, and at some point you'll probably get tired of holding it, so... I guess I should probably know where I'm sleeping. So Beckett can lead while I navigate just as soon as the tour commences. When is the... And welcome to the tour! I am Cody, Beckett's mechanically sentient mobile spacecraft. This, where you're standing, is the cockpit or coxswain station, where all the manual steering and comm links are handled. So if you'll just head stern side, or left, I guess, depending on how you're facing, we can continue the tour down into my bowels. This is what we like to call the pinboard room, but there's nothing really interesting to say about it. Yes, Cody finds it redundant, since sometimes I like to tack up things I've done here, or stuff I want to do. You know, places I want to check out, or whatever. Yes, which is odd, since I can and do retain all of that information. But let's continue downstairs, shall we? Package room. Job stuff. Side note. At our apex, Beckett would ship up to and including two packages a week. Uh, impressive. Uh-huh. And to the right is the reactor and fueling charge station, controls to the cooling system, and also where we keep my brain. How often do you erase its memory? I don't. Erasing my recent learnings every 36 hours would effectively negate my personality. Yeah, that's the point. You're not supposed to have a personality. But whatever, guys. Uh, on a more important topic, I haven't spotted a coffee machine yet. Let's continue upstairs. So this area is Beckett's sleeping quarters. But you can have it for now. I, I can take the couch upstairs. Oh, uh, okay. Nothing of interest ever happens here. Oh, really? I mean, how interesting is a mammal's sleeping pattern anyway? Okay, hey now. Look, sometimes interesting things happen here. It's not all, you know, just, you know, just forget it. Why am I even arguing with- Continuing upstairs? We have the kitchen. Coffee. And the lounge area. Don't get too excited. I won't. Landing and the water closet. Lounge. Reading nook. And 
here's where the kitchen is for the food stuffs. Further to the right, at the bow, is the lounge, where we watched the two movies Beckett's found. Oh, and connected to that is our bathroom. Our bathroom? His bathroom. Your bathroom. I don't need a bathroom. Uh-huh. Okay. And where is the coffee? I'll make you a cup. It's on the sink over here. So, what do you think? I noticed a coolant leak under the ballast stairs, but other than that, yep, you're a ship. Yes, that is true. It's more than just a ship, Sarah. Cody's been my home, my, my fireside for a while now. Oh, no. You're a sentimentalist. It's okay, though. I understand. It's a good scow, and I'm thankful to be here. Now, how about that coffee? If you please. Do you grow your own beans? No, there's a depot near Rigel I go to once a year. All they do is coffee and radishes. Uh-huh, the peanut butter jelly combo of beans. So you told Tex, Michigan, the rest of those guys that you were just helping to help. But there's really only a couple reasons to help someone like me. And you, Kimosabi, picked the least sensible one. So I hope Cody has the reins here, because I'm not gonna be too cool with you steering into an asteroid field. Look, Sarah, you needed help, and my empathy instincts kicked in, all right? Yeah, you're just a nice guy, right? Look, I appreciate the lift and the help, Beckett, I do. But I'm on a ship, alone, with someone I don't know. So just keep that in your considerations. Cheers. So, we still have some time before we get there. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think I just need to decompress for a second. But, uh, holler if you want to watch a movie or something, I guess. Cody, let me know when we're 10 out. Affirmative. He's a little... naughty. With a K. Egocentrically speaking, not physically. But anyways, while we continue to hurtle through space, you can water your plants, practice that newfangled guitar, run diagnostics on my personality fields. Ah, <sighs> okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Cody. Welcome as always. Cody, can you tell Sarah I'm gonna watch a movie if she wants to join? Sarah, Beckett's putting on a movie if you want to watch with him. What kind of movie? Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly action. Uh, a thriller. Mostly action. A thriller. Be right there. Wait, I thought he was the bad guy. He is the bad guy, but the other bad guys don't like him either. Oh, didn't they show his oxygen levels were like at 4% or something? Uh, yeah, I think. He'd be chewing his fingers off from hypoxia psychosis if that were true. How do you know? I just know. Man, that's nuts. Who'd you see go crazy? <laughs> no one you know or ever would know. I can't hear over the commentary, guys. What'd that girl say? <sighs> I'll rewind. No! no. Wow, that blew. I, I mean, I I thought the I thought the girl was pretty good. Her accent came and went, but yeah, sure. Okay, well, thanks for that. Let me know when you want to watch another one. Not right now, but you know, later. That should hold you over. You ever had a lesson? Uh, no, but I used to have one I barely touched. It got stolen a couple years ago. Tex and Michigan were in a, I guess, band is too, it makes them sound too competent. They played together before they started hunting, but there's a lot more coin in that, so. What'd you uh, think of them, anyway? They, uh, I mean, I don't know them very well, but they didn't seem completely on the up and up. You don't think I can trust them, my own friends. I've known you for about as long as a sunrise. Well, next time I see him, I'll tell them not to twirl their mustaches so much. Practice a little more and we won't need the radio. Yeah, maybe I'll keep at it.
Want to run my diagnostics? It'll help update my identity drives and keep us in sync with what behavior you deem appropriate or inappropriate, among other things. Uh, yeah, we got some time. Let's do it. Running diagnostics processor, self-analysis systems, updating to 67.8E. So, you agreed to help Sarah back at the bar despite not knowing who she was and potentially putting yourself in danger. Configuring empathy systems. You told Sarah and her friends you would aid their search out of a sense of selfless do-goodery. Adding expanded definition to commitment, comma, reasons for. Ah, uh, here's something. What, without having met the lad, do you think of Eddie currently? Uh, Eddie, I think he's up to something. I can't tell what, though. I mean, he has to have some sort of reason for all this that we're just not seeing yet, right? Hell if I know. Configuring empathy systems. Alrighty, all done, Beckett. Thanks. This will help me adjust to whatever future situational or ethical disagreements that may arise. Alert, alert. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Gather your things, kiss your loved ones goodbye, because we are at our destination. Please proceed to the nearest exit at your earliest convenience. Here we are, Eddie's domicile. Everybody hold hands, we have a buddy system here. You don't have to hold my hand. Yeah, I know. Enjoy your stay, and bring me back something, but only if you really want to. All right, let's see what we can find out. Detecting any life signs within. Damn. Oh, wait, sensors are picking up. Okay, no, that's just several. And wow, do I mean several pounds of black mold. This place is in rough shape, huh? I'd love to tell you Eddie didn't inherit a disregard for tidiness from me, but uh, yeah, he did. And bad ankles, poor kid. He's young. Young people are messy. Emotionally, psychologically, physically, it works. Yeah. He inherited a lot of those from me, too. They say cleanliness is next to godliness, but a quick search of any standard dictionary shows that, in fact... I've driven past a few of these before, but never stopped at one. Figured they were just another collection of rat turds and broken windows. They usually are, but long time ago, they were these stations people used to, uh, keep an eye on things. Given the current state of the universe, I'm gonna guess they weren't exactly top-notch. Anyway, after you. Hit me! Your kid booby trapped the place. Is he some kind of evil mastermind? No way. Just a simple trip laser. You've never seen one of these? Can't say I have. Seriously? Booby traps don't come up much in the courier biz. Hmm. Don't know if it's broken or just doesn't have power. Or both. Hanging. I've seen less greasy uh, puddles of grease. It's from a diner, I think. The ink on the wrapper's all smeared. These are amazing. Eddie was quite the little artist growing up. I told him there wasn't a future in it and he should learn something more useful, which of course led him to dive into it even deeper. You're right though, these are great. When he focuses, you know, when he cares. You should tell him that sometime, that you think he's good at it. He wouldn't believe me. It'd lead to a fight. Do it anyway. He doesn't want to believe it. That's an Eddie problem. Ha! Huh. Oh, there are many Eddie problems. But okay, fine, I will. But if it starts a fight, I'm throwing you under the bus at top speed. All right, we're not here to appraise. Come on, let's keep looking. We can't go this way. 
Beckett? Cody. I am detecting a strange reading coming from the center console in this room. Like strange and tingly? Not exactly. Could you try getting a little closer? I think if we use this console, we can open the locked door to your right. Oh, whoa, that's some old wiring. Yeah, I don't think they used a registered electrician either. So what am I looking for? Go ahead and scan the first console and press the button I'm displaying on your pad. Go. Keep up with it. I need you to scan the next console, too. How many more of these are there? I think only one more. Yes. You okay? I thought that was going to kill me. Another Eddie booby trap? No, no, just faulty wiring. The building manager really cut corners during construction. I hate these things. Claustrophobic, you know? Eddie must have had guests. How do you even use this thing? Does Eddie have very, like, like very odd hair? What are you talking about? This comb. It's bananas. That's not a comb. It's a lockpick. And it's mine. It's been wondering where it went. Eddie must have lifted it at some point. Roach milk? Eddie's favorite band. Thank God. I thought it was an actual beverage for a second. Kid could never hang a poster straight, though. Drove me insane. Galaxy Capitalist? I haven't played that since I was a kid. Eddie was always into board games. He never grew out of it. Can we keep it? Yeah, Sarah, can we? I guess you two fools haven't either. Sure, let's keep it for now. When we find Eddie, we can give it back to him. Better? Much. I can actually look at it without getting nauseous. And so it shall remain, even and adhered. Or... K? Okay. What is that? What is it? Drugs? Booze? Both? It's probably both. It's neither. It's an ID badge? Charles Truckerson? Huh. Okay. Kinda wish I had been right. Hmm, seems sharp. Should come in handy. This is downright quaint. We're picture people. We may argue about literally everything else, but I loved having pictures on the wall. He never complained about it. Guess he picked up the habit. Hmm, I'm not in any of these. Thank goodness he managed to get several shots of his motorcycle, though. You two took pictures together? I'm stunned. Oh, I can be a real shutterbug. Come on, they're just pictures. Whatever. Come on. Big, beautiful nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what space is. Pretty, but it's almost entirely empty. I'm not saying I like it, but you can dislike something and still find it pretty, as empty as it may be. It's not so empty. There's, you know, planets and, uh, quasars. You ever looked up the percentage of actual, uh, stuff out there? It's barely 4%. Barely. The rest? Hollow as an old log. I know some people who literally never leave terra firma. Space freaks them out so much. And I get it, but not me. It all just soothes me, I guess. It soothes me. I am soothed. That's different. Different how? Different odd. Oh, yeah. Maybe having... Oh, yeah. Maybe having a cold, lifeless void be a source of comfort is odd. All right, enough sightseeing. Let's get back to searching. That 
Open up. I think it locked. Well, hell. Uh, unlock it? Hmm, still functioning. The universe begins with you. Welcome to Ranger Station IO. Your new Is it recording? Cool. Uh hello. Uh my name is Eddie Keller and uh I'm dead, dude. What? Uh, like okay. Uh I'm not dead now. This is something to be played if I die doing this thing that could very much end with me, you know, decomposing. Oh, got it. So like you can throw away all my crap. I don't need it anymore. But uh, try to do something cool with my bike. Blow it up, throw it into the sun, uh, eat it. I don't know, just, you know, a cool story. Um, what else, what else, what else? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, right, my mom. Tell her, uh, tell her, tell her she's free. She never said I was like a burden or, you know, anything like that. But you don't have to say things for them to be true. So she's free. What's that? I, I love you. Can you just stop the recording? It's the button on the left. Yeah, yeah, that, that's... Restaurant receipts. Wow, dude loves eggs. Borlog Diner. I know that place. Hey, Beckett. You have some advanced AI ideas for getting me out of here? Not exactly, but I am having another strange reading. That opened a door before. It's possible this could work. Okay, so it looks like he was wanting to see if a jump drive could take him to these coordinates. Cody, I'm transmitting you some coordinates. Let me know what they turn up. Analyzing? Huh. These are extremely distant from Soul Prime. How, uh, extremely? It would take decades to arrive at max propulsion. Huh. Odd. The oddest. Summon lightning! It's just the overlay visualization that I'm projecting into your retina with a laser. Got you now, Sparkler. Got it! All station doors are open. You should be able to rejoin with Sarah. What'd you find? A bunch of receipts from a restaurant caddy corner to Sigma Station by about half a parsec. It's called Borlog Diner. We should check it out. Anything else? Or just, you know... Dead crickets and dirt? Yeah, I found this, I guess, message from Eddie. A hollow recording. Oh. What was, uh, what was on it? It was in case he, in case he died doing the, uh, stealing, I guess. Morbid. Yeah, he wanted you to know that you're, you're free. Free? From what? What does that even, free? That's so weird. You know what? I'm tapping out. This is too messy. Uh, okay. I, uh, okay. I guess I'll just, uh, just ask him. Was it? Is he mad? Actually, never mind. My little mystery. Let's just find that diner. Okay, let's get to that diner. Crap coffee and cholesterol, here we come. Order up. 